but just another quick video on how to change your DNS for network solutions. If you have your domain registered through network solutions and you're changing your hosting or you're adding hosting or something like that somewhere else, then uh, you're gonna need to change your DNS and you have a couple options for doing that. So you're gonna log in to manage account. Once you're logged in, you're going to scroll down and you're gonna hit edit DNS. Now you have two options here. One is you can edit the DNS, once you select the domain that you wanna edit it for, you can edit your DNS by moving it or you can manage advanced DNS records. So the difference is, if you wanna move your DNS, this means you're changing entirely how your name servers work and where they're being routed through. So if you want everything to go through something like HostMonster, your mail, you know, anything you can think of, your website, then you wanna change your name servers so that they're not being dealt with at all through network solutions, that all that stuff lives in HostMonster um, or, or wherever you put it. The other option is to edit specific records that might be associated with different elements um, with your server configuration. So for example, A records is for just your website files. So let's say your mail server, your MX records are handled through Gmail or something like that. You have Business G Suite or you use some custom Office 365 you know, Microsoft set up for it or whatever, then your MX records would be different from your A records and you'd want your site files, let's say you're using WP Engine, which doesn't do anything with mail, you would want to use A records or you would want to use, you know, CNAME. So in this case, we're using WP Engine for this website and we're using the CNAME record. Um, so just worth keeping in mind. So what we're doing today is we're just actually changing the full, moving the full DNS configuration and we're moving it to DigitalOcean. So our name server is actually gonna be ns1 dot, the name of the website, and ns2 dot, the name of the website. And once you've done this, you are going to have to wait for a couple hours to up to a day or two for it to propagate across the world. Um, but now you're done. Have your name servers edited.